Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com and in this video I'd like to demonstrate the simple marguerite stitch. Now this stitch is worked over a multiple of two stitches plus one plus two more for the base chain. So we need an odd number of stitches plus a chain of two for the base chain. So here I have a small swatch. Let's start the next row. To start a new row, I am going to chain three. And then to make the first marguerite, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook into the second chain from the hook. It's the middle of those three chains that we just made. Going under both loops. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to pull it up a little bit higher than I normally would. Then I'm going to insert my hook into that first chain we made, the third chain from the hook, and pull up a loop a little bit higher yet. Then I'm going to skip the first stitch, you could say, or the fourth thing from the hook, and go into the fifth one. So the second stitch of the row, pull up a loop about as high as the rest here, so you can see they're kind of evening out. With four stitches on the hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four. Now you can see that this has made a marguerite with three lines pulling over to the side here. Now I am going to chain one. And for the second stitch of the row, I'm going to insert my hook right into that loop. I don't know if you can see it there, that loop we made when we made the chain one. You can see here was the end of the marguerite. Then when we chain one, we get this little hump back here from the chain one. That's where I'm going to insert my hook first. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Then for the second loop, I'm going to insert right into the base of the first marguerite there, that stitch we made, or the stitch we went into there at the base. So we're going to go right back into that stitch again, pull up the second loop, then skip the next stitch, go into the stitch after that, yarn over and pull up that last fourth loop. Then yarn over, pull through, and chain one. So let's do another one. We go right back into the back of that chain one to pull up the first loop. Go into the same stitch that we finished up with on the last marguerite. Pull up that loop a little higher yet. Skip the next stitch, go into the stitch after that. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And with four loops on the hook, we yarn over and pull through all four loops. There we go. Now we've got room for one more marguerite on this row. So I'm going to chain one. I'm going to go into the back of that chain one for the first loop, into the base, that same stitch that we finished up the last marguerite on for the second loop. And then for this one, what I want to do is pull my hook into the top of the chain three from the previous row when we started that previous row. And that one can be hard to see. Just kind of have to feel for it. Insert that hook and pull up the fourth loop. Now with four loops on the hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now that actually completes the last marguerite of the row. So don't get confused. Don't chain one and then think you've got to chain three more to start the next row. When you've pulled through all four loops, that actually completes the last marguerite. So to start the next row, you'll chain three from here, not four. If you chain four, you end up with kind of a, a lump starting at the top there at the end. So you want to chain three from here, and then we can start the next row. We'll pull up a little more yarn here, and we can do a couple more. Remember for the first one, we go into the second chain from the hook, like so. It's a little fiddly. You know how it is. Go in there, pull up that first loop. Then we go into the third chain from the hook. And then we skip a stitch and go into the next stitch. If this were the starting chain, we'd skip the fourth chain and go into the fifth chain. Pull up the fourth loop. Yarn over, pull through all four. And because we're going to be making another one, we chain one. Now, once more, we go into the back of the chain one, pull up a loop, go into the base where we finished that first one, that same last stitch, 
pull up the second loop, I guess it would be the third loop on the hook, skip the next stitch, go into the next stitch after that, yarn over, pull up that last loop, yarn over, and pull through all four. And that's all there is to making the simple marguerite stitch. Thanks for watching. Thank you.